Hey guys, welcome back to Fox House Creations, where we'd like to do a recap on this door with the... Uh, let me get it to open. Okay, this was those fabric hinges, and I just wanted to show you how it works. Now, it does open a little rough on the porch, but for the most part, it does open and close. And I'll trim the bottom up. I didn't realize it was going to drag quite so bad. It didn't seem like it was. But anyhow, that's how that fabric hinge works. And if you watch the video, you'll see I cut that cardboard out. I sandwiched this piece of the fabric in between the two, and then I just glued that one straight to the wall. And somewhere there will be something that looks kind of like these. I'm not sure which one it is, but it'll be one of those, and then it'll be some straight strips down that will cover up that hinge. And if it doesn't, it won't matter, because what I'm going to do is I didn't get any um, comments on whether or not y'all wanted me to just straight do joint compound and glue or do siding. So I'm going to go ahead and do siding on the house, um, and that'll also help cover that up. And then I'm going to run a piece of sandpaper under that edge to get that door fixed a little better. So the other thing I wanted to show you was this piece, which brings this bottom piece of the house. Right here is the base, base of the house. These boards weren't connected. So I'm gluing those on. And they come. This one has some little extra pieces that go on this side like that, which I thought was kind of weird. That was a first for me. And then the same thing on this side. And I just used the tape and the clamps as extra hands. So that took care of that piece. So I'm waiting for that to dry and then I'll flip it over. And of course, these slots are for your front porch. And I'll notch those out a little better once we get ready to build the front porch. So. I just wanted to do a super quick update. Um, I am going to go ahead and work on the staircase tonight and a few other things, some partitions, and I'll give you an update on that. What I was uh, also thinking is I have a Cricut and I'm going to see if I can't cut out some really thin vinyl and go over these windows, this part, so that that looks a little more real. Um, I may or may not. I've already got those ones in, so that's just a I might. Um, and because I've got these windows in, I'm leaning towards I probably won't. But anyhow, and then this window has shutters for it. So what I'll probably do is the fabric hinges on both sides so that these shutters actually work. So that'll be something else to work on. But uh, I'm going to slowly progress and I should have this house built and ready to paint and powder and decorate and um, work on by Sunday. So I'm going to go with a 50s style on this house like I said and so I'm looking at maybe the possibility of incorporating um, some 30s, 40s, and 50s in this house. I haven't, I haven't fully made up my mind yet, but if I do, you guys will be the first to know. All right, thanks for watching. Keep subscribing. Grab a friend. The more the merrier. Remember, 100 customers. I've got another giveaway, but I can't do it without the customers. Come on, guys, subscribe. What are you waiting for? Tell your aunts, uncles, cousins, friends. Join up. It's worth it. All right. See you soon.